it is also going to be the first test so this could maybe fail but I am quite confident so here is the light by the way so let's push the button and as you can see all the reeds and seeds are washed down there Hello everyone, this is Blackstone Movies and yes, we're back with another animation, automation craft, I mean <laughs> animation craft, an automation craft episode and yes, as you can see, you can notice some difference there in the furnace for example, or the door and guess what, even the inventory has this little thing so yeah, I've made my own texture pie guys so um, I have actually made a trailer video for it with the download link in the description so I will put a link to that video in this video description well video section right there and so yeah you can go ahead watch the video click uh, on the download link in the description and download my pack I would uh, love it though if you would give me some credit for it because I did put a lot of work in it I find found it uh, easier actually to make the textures than I had expected but nonetheless it took a very long time to perfect everything uh, as I wanted because I've also made animated textures like a redstone lamp has got a flickering effect like a LED light and as you can see I've made my redstone like that I can demonstrate it real quick over here so that's how it looks like now I think that looks cleaner than it looks more like um, a real electricity lead or how do you call it like in real life in, instead of the messy powder redstone normally is so yeah other than that I have also modif uh, modified the icon for for example the door and I made the door like that with a grid in there I I find that cooler like that and as you can see I've been gathering some resources here I've been doing a little bit of caving down there in my in my um, in my branch mines but I haven't found a single diamond yet so that's a pity but we have got some extra iron in there I was just cooking it up right like so and yeah it's been a long time since this uh, since the last episode hasn't it I've been I haven't been uploading another video for more than a month or so and that's because I have been in France so yeah that's right we went to the first to the north of France which is called the Vosges it's a really cool country uh, in northeast uh, kind of and let me put up my render distance because it isn't too high right now too far I mean let's load it in again and now with a recent snapshot it's load just like a charm everything is uh, much better right now I get uh, less lag when I not record and all that so that's really good so yeah we went to France to the north east first it has really cool mountains over there but uh, at the beginning the weather was really good we were camping with our tents my parents and I and um, yeah we had really good weather the first days but then we went to Auvergne which is in the middle of France and that's an awesome country really it has beautiful old uh, volcanoes and they're all green and you it's a it's a preserve park so you can wander in there and even climb some of the old volcanoes going to the crater it's really cool because you can imagine what the power of nature was back then how it's how devastating all those volcanoes were because there are really a lot of them but over there the weather was just terrible we had almost rain every day and even in July it was really cold over there we had to put our jackets on when we were uh, in the evening camping uh, at our tents and we had to even huddle in our sleeping bags because it was so cold and um, yeah that was really not cool <laughs> Uh, it was cool literally um, and yeah then we went to the south of France to and we that was also really cool cool camping a camping where we have been before um, the soil was is kind of sandy there but that's no big deal because you can swim in the Mediterranean Sea 
Yeah, that's right. And yeah, it's really cool there. The water is blue and the weather is hot. You can burn your feet on the s your feet, your feet, your feet on the sand. And I don't know when I'm wandering around here. I just want to talk a little bit. So yeah, so now you know what I've been doing this whole month. I've been to France. Um, to the south, north and the middle of it and yeah generally we had kind of good weather but in Auvergne it was just terrible so what the plan for this episode is is we are going to start farming a little bit because it is automation craft right so we I my plan for this episode is to start up some wheat farms because I haven't found uh, carrots or potato seeds so I first want to farm uh, wheat and for that we will need loads of seeds so I will just start collecting over here and um, then I'm going to dig out the area because my whole base is going to be underground at least in the beginning of this series I'm aiming to do everything underground but some farms will stick out like iron golem farm they need to have certain light levels excuse me to spawn and let's put the seeds over here for now and let's look how come I'm so high in these bits that's weird alright so uh, yeah that's the plan I want to make an automated um, wheat farm and because we have so much redstone iron um, and stone and wood is no big deal so we can always grab some trees um, and by the way I've been uh, buying a new gaming mouse. Uh, I haven't got one before. I actually had just a mouse which was included with this computer, not just a standard one, cheap one. Um, but now I've bought a gaming mouse. It's a gaming mouse from Mad Cats uh, and it's called the R87 or RAT7. And it's really awesome. You can adjust almost everything on the mouse so you can adjust the uh, the, the size of it you can adjust the palm grip the pinky grip and thumb area can, you can adjust that as well it has uh, 18 programmable buttons if you count it because you have three modes and six programmable buttons so six by three that's uh, 18 and yeah that's really awesome uh, and you can also remove weights it has 30 grams of removable weights which is, which is awesome you can customize a whole mouse if you like and yeah you also have some programming software to make everything cool and the DPI if you're interested is 6400 I don't know what that means but I know it's a lot because a standard mouse has 800 DPI it's the sensitivity that's as far as my n mouse knowledge there goes so what I will do now is I'll dig out an area and I'm going to make an automated wheat farm um, underground which will uh, use pistons and water to harvest it um, so yeah I'll see you in a bit alright everybody I have been making the farm and it has just finished so let me first let you see what uh, look I wait I can't even talk let me first show you the modifications I made in my base over here so as you can see I've made a little walkway in glass so when I move outside I can see when there is a creeper on top for example and also I have a little skylight over here over my furnaces and I've been terraforming the area a bit I want to flatten out the area as much as I can around here so everything is going to be level with 70 why is 70 and I've also been doing some caving lately um, but there is a really cool cave system under my base so when we move over here you can see um, there is my nether portal I've been in the nether already um, and here starts the cave system at first look it doesn't look like much but when you go down it branches off in all different directions there is even a ravine over here and places I haven't even explored like over there creeper town over there and over there is also dark spots and yeah but I haven't been too lucky with the diamonds though I have only found three of them so um, 
I could only make a diamond pickaxe but yeah that's not too bad bad I will find more in the future but let me see let you see at my stuff here so as you can see we got quite a bunch of redstone iron all from that cave lapis lazuli some emeralds gold and um, pretty uh, many blocks of coal as well and over here we have all my cobble and this is my third chest and over here we have just random things I need to make a storage room but yeah over here it's already pretty organized and yeah all the stone I got from branch mining by the way mainly and digging out my farm so now let's take a look at the farm area because I think it's a pretty cool design I've been thinking of it um, how to make it but yeah here it is Ta -da. so yeah the I think it's pretty cool design uh, I've invented it myself and so yeah so the technique with the pistons was nothing new but then I saw Doc M77's video uh, of the iron golem farm and I've been building the iron golem farm many times now on my old friend server and also on the true evil server not too long ago and I thought maybe we can use this water concept so yeah it all runs to the middle and then we can harvest the wheat using that principle so when we push the button there is a pulse extender which will um, allow these pistons to retract for 9 seconds exactly or 8 whatever <laughs> but yet just right enough time to, to let all this wheat uh, flow into this middle piece over here and everything will be harvested really quickly as I said around 9-10 seconds and everything will already be in here so let's jump down here and see what's over here so when we dig out this is where the wheat will fall down and we can just follow the water stream we will be tunneled into this hopper over here and over here we have just a rapid firing dispenser no that's not a rapid firing dispenser so yeah the hopper goes into this dropper and it detects um, whether there is an item in it and it's just an item elevator like that it's the standard one so you will lose a bit of items in there but when we have a constant flow of wheat going it will not make a difference if you know what I mean because there are always some items which will uh, stay in the droppers with this mechanism so but when the um, when there is new wheat coming down here this will activate again and will send the remaining pieces up as well so that's not too big of a problem so when we come up here um, over here we can see the pulse extender by Izuma Void he made it a tutorial for it I'll put a link in the description and over here is our button to activate it and this pulse extender has um, nine items in it so it will um, take around nine seconds for this farm to run and this pulse from here will go to here and that is the line which powers all the pistons so when that's deactivated the pistons will retract and the water will all flow down to the mill and take all the wheat with it and the seeds of course and so yeah over here we are back at the entrance again and over here is our item elevator and that goes into hoppers over here that goes into chest so we have a massive uh, a mass storage system over here and there is also an overflow hopper so basically all the items in the hopper flow down uh, in, an, in the hopper beneath it is if there is a hopper beneath but when this hopper is full the this comparator will put a signal to the light over there and it will stay constantly on so then we will know there is an overflow and when there is overflow this will be filled and filled completely and all the remaining items will all be transferred in this hopper down in the dropper over there and all the items will be fired out and will despawn eventually so that is just a uh, overflow thing I made there but now for demonstration purposes we don't have really much wheat already but I just want to see this also going to be the first test so this could maybe fail but I am quite confident so here is the light by the way so let's push the button and as you can see all the wheat and seeds are washed down there
Sorry, I had to get out so abruptly, but there was something with my computer. Um, yeah, Minecraft was just glitching out because another program opened or something. But yeah, basically all the seats are washed down now. As you can see, they are all being transferred upwards and these streams have stopped um, right after everything was harvested, just as planned. And this light is now blinking because uh, items are traveling through. As you can see, and this was some stone I was testing with before. And so yeah, as you can see, everything is being tunneled into the chest over here. And when we go inside here, you can see the item elevator is working. And yeah, we. Th I think we got everything already. Uh, yep. We didn't have too many seats, or there has something gone wrong. Because I think, yeah, as you can see, there are always some seats left um, in the droppers with this item elevator design. Um, let's go upstairs. Whoops, I can't even. Is here? Nope. And over here? No, everything seems to be alright. So, yeah, then we didn't get too many seats of it, but uh, uh, yeah. It's just because we didn't really um, let all the wheat grow naturally. So now let's replant everything. But for this episode, I think that's it, guys. I'll still do more decorating of the base and furnishing this, sprucing this up, I mean. Because, yeah, now it looks really bland and ugly with just some wood and um, um, cobble and all that jazz. So yeah, for right now I'm going to replan, but this is going to be it for today guys. Let's move to a spot a little bit more open. Let's move upstairs, so yeah. If you did like the video, please do leave a like because I would really appreciate it. I put, some, I put a lot of work in this series. I really enjoy single player when uh, other people are watching it, but if I just would play it without recording, I'd don't think I would really enjoy it but now if I can share my world with the world <laughs> um, yeah then I'm really happy so please leave a like if you like this series and want to see more and if you really like my channel or something because I also make tutorials and yeah if you like my channel please make sure to subscribe and other than that please give some feedback some constructive feedback so it can be negative criticism or yeah so you just i can improve this series and that's going to be it guys for this episode i am black Movies. see you guys in the next one